Welcome, Kansas. I am the Empress. I'm happy to have you guys back with me today. This is going to be for the month of December. All right, so we're going to see what energy is coming towards you, what messages the spirit have for you for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Cancers. All right, so these messages are general. They won't resonate with every single Cancer. So therefore, <laughs> if it resonates, great. If it doesn't, check your moon and your rising videos, okay? Some of you guys are going to feel like you won because you moved on from a situation. You've possibly been waiting or sacrificing. You feel like now it's time for you to make a decision, okay? Yes, yeah, it's about a union, okay? Some, some type of union here. All right, some of you guys are just want to be deciding to stand your ground and love yourself first and putting yourself first is what I'm picking up. You've been very patient. You've been very patient patient in this situation. For some of you, you're dealing with the Sagittarius. Some of you are going to be deciding to focus solely on yourself, your finances, and your goals. Let's see what overall message, what overall message is there. Let's see what pops out. Answers. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have sacral chakra. Sacral chakra. Okay. So this is saying I want. Okay. Maybe you're in the mode of saying, I know what exactly it is that I want. You know, you know exactly what you want. Let's see. We have solitude. We have patience. And we have spiritual strength. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Some of you guys have been isolating yourself, okay? You've been taking time. You've been... Uh, Isolating yourself from a situation, from a group of people, from anything. You've just been to yourself, okay? You doing, you're doing inner work. You're on a self journey, okay? You could be researching. You could be backing off from a situation that no longer serves you, okay? This is Virgo. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Virgo. We have Patience, which is the Temperance card. There could be a Sagittarius involved. But this is about maybe you've gone in and done the inner work to try to find balance within yourself is what I'm most definitely picking up. Okay, you're trying to find balance. You're trying to heal. You're trying to, you know, things, keep things more harmonious and trying to find a balance. Okay, some of you guys have just decided to take some time alone. Okay, you need to take some time alone to heal. Okay, but then you're busting out. Okay, future energy, you're busting out. Okay, you finally did the inner work and now you're stronger than ever. Okay, it's like you're stronger than ever. Like your spiritual strength is like on 10 right now. Okay, so you've done the inner work or you're doing the inner work. You're preparing for something big. Okay, you're preparing for a battle. You're ready for the battle. You're ready for whatever anybody has to bring. It's like, you know what? I, I took this time to myself. Okay, I've healed. I'm healing. And then when people see you, they're going to be like, you know, they've changed. They've changed. A lot of people look at cancers as, you know, soft because cancers most definitely are very emotional, can be kind of sensitive. So a lot of people may look at cancers as kind of like, oh, they're so nice and sweet and nurturing and loving and caring. A lot of times people take advantage of that. So for a cancer to, to take on this type of energy, I feel like is very, very, very dope. I feel like it's a spiritual, in a spiritual sense, okay? I feel like you guys are doing the inner work. 
and I love it, okay? I love it. I absolutely love it. What happened in the past? Let's get a story. All right, we got the Five of Cups. Wanted to pop out. So you could be crying over spilled milk, okay? Something possibly didn't work out the way you thought it was going to work out. Maybe you're looking back at a situation currently now with regrets, okay? You're looking back at the situation like, you know, damn, I shouldn't have did that. Maybe I shouldn't have moved like this. I shouldn't move like that. We got the King of Cups, you guys' it's energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So I feel like some of you guys are in your head and your feelings, okay? And you're looking back at a situation with regrets. definitely see it okay okay so regretting something that was said either someone is regretting something that they said to you or you could be regretting something that you said to someone else it possibly you know caused some chaos okay it started some conflict started some conflict okay There could have been some lies, some manipulation going on. We got King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn could have been involved. Someone is being very protective. Okay, I see three people here. There could be three people involved. Okay, so I'm getting that there could have been some a little quarrel, okay? All right, so past energy. Past energy. What happened in the past? There we go. Definitely communication. Okay, so we got the temperance here at the bottom of the deck. Seven of wands. Someone is making someone feel like they have to stand their ground. And um, We got the magician and the seven of wands. And temperance Temperance is Sagittarius' is card. So some of you guys could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Um, but I definitely pick up that someone, someone is making someone feel like they have to defend themselves. Okay, most definitely see that, okay? So there could have been some words that was said. Okay, so what's crowning this situation? What's crowning this situation? What is crowning this situation? What's crowning this situation? What's crowning this situation? Ooh, all right, Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is being patient. So I'm definitely sensing a lot of patience here in this reading. So you've been being patient with a situation. Um, and I feel like you've gotten to the point where you feel like you need to stand your ground, defend yourself. Okay. But I feel like you may be thinking that something isn't getting anywhere, okay? There's this there's this, there's this feeling of stagnancy here. We got the Eight of Swords, okay? So this is definitely being trapped, stagnant energy. And then the Six of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles, this is getting nowhere, okay? You may be feeling like you've been patient long enough. It's not going to get, it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. All right, so future energy, future energy, future energy. What is the future energy? Future energy. All right, Page of Cups. Some more, more communication. All I see is lots of communication. Okay, this is Pisces, this card. So maybe you're dealing with a Pisces, okay? You're communicating with the Pisces. Or this is very... um. You know, uh, this is more on the end of romantic, flirty type energy. But com communication, nonetheless, could be communicating with an uh, Aries or a person of authority, okay? Someone of authority, okay? Maybe you've been resisting, <clears throat> excuse me, someone has been resisting, you know, doing that. But someone here is deciding to take control um, and possibly, you know, Take control of the situation. Why is the page of cups here? I'm picking up like regretting waiting to say something. Okay. We got the death card. So there could be a cut off in communication. Okay. Could be dealing with a Pisces. We got the moon card here. Could most definitely be dealing with a Pisces. 
okay lots of communication is what i'm getting because i'm picking up like there's a worry that's like worried about what someone is going to say or someone is worried about what you're going to say and i'm picking up that you could be dealing with the pisces okay but i, I sense that there's possibly a cutoff in communication okay why is the death card here you could also be dealing with a Scorpio, okay? You could be in communication with a Scorpio, okay? There could be flirty messages coming in from a Scorpio. Yeah, 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 don't want to talk. Not wanting to communicate, not just cut off in the communication. We got the Four of Cups, definitely uninterested, not wanting to continue on with the conversation, okay? Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so somebody is possibly going to be wanting to cooperate and work something out, and you're like, nope, nope, I don't want to talk about it. It's not going to get anywhere, we're not getting anywhere, um, and I just don't feel like it's worth it, okay? All right, so you guys are cutting someone off, cutting off communication with someone. All right, Cancer, so they're standing their ground. I love it. All right, so let's see what message do we have. Well, y'all had quite a few. All right, so we have spiritual or religious community. Join with like-minded people for friendship and increase spiritual growth, okay? This is a beautiful, okay? It tells you what crystal that you could carry with you to attract this type of energy. And we have angel light. And this is spiritual or religious community. Join with the like-minded people for friendship and increase spiritual support. Okay, so spiritual growth. So this is like coming together with like-minded people, working on projects together, doing things together, just getting with people that have a you know same ideas as you all right and then we have ruble light passion and purpose your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart okay so it is most definitely time for you to focus in on something and zoom in on something that is going to be great and beneficial for you a project that you are working on that's going to be something that you want to do okay Figuring out your passion and your purpose, your purpose and your passion for being here, okay? Zero in on that, all right? So we have deep emotional healing. Azurite is the crystal, okay? So your heart is ready to heal from past experiences, and you are willing to devote time and energy towards therapeutic care. How lovely is that? I must definitely enjoy doing this reading for cancer. This is an amazing reading for you guys. I'm so happy that you guys are carrying this type of energy to into 2020. Um, it's very mature. Is I feel like it's very beneficial to you, for you to work on yourself and focus on your passion and your purpose and, and what exactly it is that you are here for, okay? All while doing this healing, okay? I'm picking up healing on both ends, okay? This is most definitely a spiritual journey for you. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is most definitely like a spiritual journey, okay? I definitely can pick that up. Like you guys have been isolating yourself. You guys have been doing the inner work. You've been thinking about, you know, what it is, what is your purpose? What is your passion? What are you, you know, getting rid of things that no longer serve you, meaningful things, things that don't mean anything. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are sweeping that out, not bringing that into 2020. And I feel like that's the best thing that you could do. All right. This was a beautiful reading. This was the best reading that I have, have, have had for cancer. And I'm, I'm, I'm completely satisfied. I hope you guys are satisfied. Let me know what's going on down below in that comment section. And until next time, guys, ciao for now. <laughs>